Please, that's all I ask. All right, hey everyone, what's up? I'm Mr. Smiles here from JSM Media. Thank you so much for tuning in to Smile TV, and I'm here today with Matt Fucking Graves. Matt Fucking Graves. I'm gonna call you MFG. MFG, yes. We call him MFG, and we're here at the Underground Rock Shop during uh, taking place at a show called what was it? Lupercalis Paraphilias. Now it's Latin for something or other. It's not. And Cassie came up with the title, and I was like, Yeah, that works. Okay, that works. <laughs> that, 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 that works. That's, that's how it usually happens. Well, yep. we're here. To, we're here at the Underground Rock Shop. We're gonna talk about the special show that's going on right now, and we just want to give you a few words on what's going on. Sound good? Yeah, man. All right, man. So. Uh, First off, how are you doing today? Dude, I am overwhelmed with excitement for this show right now. I wasn't expecting my soon-to-be, like, familia to show up. When we started taking pictures by the band, and I realized all these artists, all these introverts, all these people who assume to think that they're, you know, not good enough for the world, and we all get together, and we're just like, dude, we're impervious fucking people. Oh, yeah, I was talking to Cassie about that just a minute ago, about how you guys want to help the underdogs and everything, not the exact words, but in my opinion, you guys are doing a phenomenal job, and it's stuff like art shows like this. I like the close-together art shows, like neck and neck, the art shows. And, and, and the thing is that we're not. This is just. This is a small time show compared to what I want to do because we're not going to just collide with the underground rock shop. Mm -hmm. We got the Five Monkeys artist. We got the Finder Creepers artist. We got the Sean Pallet Gallery. We have the Des Moines Social Club because next week we have more paint. So like I'm competing against the best in the class in Des Moines, mm -hmm. and that money that I make off that is going right back into the rock shop. Nice. So now that we're colliding all six or five or six of them, we're doing it. Summer festival out here in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. Church allowed us to go ahead and use the parking lot too. And we've got food vendors, we've got arts, crafts, and we're going to open the stage up for musicians all fucking day long. So, I mean, it's going to be like a Woodstock, a Woodstock that should have happened a long time ago. So, you literally have massive plans of priority. Dude, I, I, my mind runs a thousand miles a minute with creativity. Hey, I got news for you. Join the club. Right. We're on the same page. Look at me. <laughs> Anywho, so that being said, man, uh, what kind of art do you like to clarify? What kind of art do you clarify yourself as? I've been in the 15 years that I've done it, and I've been doing artwork literally from a high school desk. So since then, I, I've never been uh, more happy just doing that. I, I've been doing sales commission artwork for so long. I mean, even I've done industrial stuff, like all the Unity point signs you see around the point. I did a majority of the YA MCA sign you see down in Illinois. I hated that. My fucking name's everywhere. But when it really comes to that stuff I love to do, that's what I love to do. As far as like a style, I don't really have a style because I mean, it, it diversifies. I, I learned from cartoonists, animation artists, sculptors, metal fabricators, welders. Um, how to shoot movies, how to do pinstriping on cars, how to paint nice muscle, muscle automobiles and shit. I mean, dude, I do all of it. I just happen to have like a proper upbringing when I was growing up. Nice. So that being said, man, um, I noticed you had a piece. I noticed you had a piece inside that was a, a guitar body. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> it had like monsters on it. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. You talking about the empty guitar body, the Fender yeah. Stratocaster? Yeah, Stratocaster. Yeah. Um, I freaking love that thing. I thought that was amazing. Do you like do? Uh, you say you do commission paintings? Yep. Would you ever actually have people like send you an idea? Like tell, can you put this all the in time? This body? That's that's what brings my paychecks. Is that people will say, Hey, man, I have an idea. I want you to put it to life. I'm, I'm that guy that takes people's ideas where they're stuck and they don't know how to apply it to paper and I turn it into the surrealist fucking painting and they're like, wow, that's amazing. Uh, a couple weeks ago I had this guy that I met and he wanted me to paint a pinup girl writing a shark flinging an octopus while the pinup girl's kicking a hacky sack and coming out of fire hydrant. And I'm in the middle process of working on that. I won't show anybody who's finished, but it's turning out pretty good so far. Mm -hmm. so. Nice. So are you making a pretty decent living? Do you think you can survive? It's, got, it's gotten to the point where I don't even need a part-time job anymore. Like after 15 years of rigorous practice makes it perfect. I can finally say it's finally fucking paying off. Yep. Sure. Well, I'm proud to say it. Thanks, man. Great job, man. I, thanks, I mean, man. I appreciate it. I mean, you're pretty much, you, you, maybe not at the point you want to be, but you're at that point where you can live off your work. Oh, yeah. And that's all we can ask for, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's the point where it's, that's the point where you made it enough to where you go, I can survive off this. I can live off of that. That's all I really wanted to do. Yeah. I, I've never been one to have to work under someone else. I've, I've always been so independent. 
that, and because I'm such a stubborn motherfucker, mm -hmm. that I want to do my own fucking thing all the fucking time. But sometimes that butts heads, but when I'm working alone, dude, it's a straight fucking arrow for creativity, and I love it. I can do whatever the fuck I want, anytime I want. It's great. <laughs> okay, then. Like I said, man, I'm proud to say that someone's making it and doing oh, a yeah, good man. job. And I've heard your name around the block a few times. Well, about the block, we get my point. I've heard your name around the block a few times, and I've heard of a lot of random stuff that you've done. Um, have you done artwork? Have you done artwork for bands? Yes, I have. Yeah, because I think that's where I've heard it. I've done artwork for Nun Slaughter. I've done artwork for a band that doesn't exist anymore called Black by Dawn. Um, I've done artwork for my own band, Junkie Nun. I do concept artwork. I've done t-shirts, um, CD inserts. Uh, I, a lot a lot of times I get more people that want me to paint their musical instruments, honestly, because that gets recognition. Oh, yeah. For sure. Well, like I said, man, the guitar body looks amazing. Yeah. Uh, speaking of that guitar body, um, we're going to go ahead and progress into the Underground Rock Shop right now. Like, yeah. We're going to have my buddy showcase that uh, particular uh, piece that you have up for so, you. Yeah, and we're back and we're going to continue. Sound good? Sound good, man. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and go to Gage Hellion that's inside the Underground Rock Shop art room. We'll see you in a bit. Take it away, Gage. Hey, everybody. Gage Hellion here. Thank you very much, Smiles. We got here... What's your name one more time? I meant Matt Matt Graves. Matt, Matt Graves. fucking Graves or something like that. Yeah. MFG, Matt fucking there Graves. There we go. Sounds like MSG. <laughs> <laughs> or some kind of like fucking IED, whatever. <laughs> yeah. So what you got here, man? This is uh, one of 10 guitar bodies that I've done in the last 15 years. Um, I get them donated to me and people trash them. And I yeah. paint on literally anything and everything. So oh. I just go to town and go with it, man. Right? It's fucking sick, dude. Yeah. You got like three dimensional almost looks like you're trying to go Yeah, further. like the back side's black, but I think the front like side's Like the graphics more. just like, ugh, love it. Yeah. Fucking, how you, you even like connected there? the color down in inside of there and shit too. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, it's uh... And it's still got like nothing really gunking up around where the bridge would go in and all that stuff. No, I try to keep all my you paintings clean for the fact that there's going to be hard work going section, into it. So people could just get a bolt-in neck of whatever kind they want, throw it on there. Well, it's a Fender Stratocaster. It's pretty universal. You can slap yeah. almost any neck into oh, it. Oh, I knew the first time I looked at it, I was like, oh shit, he's coming here with a Stratocaster body. Do I get to interview him? <laughs> but no, fucking, uh, yeah, uh, anything in particular you had struggles on this at all? No, um, I think it was just the period of my life that I was going through. Um, I moved into a place blind. I was moving back into Des Moines from Springfield, Missouri. And I met this gal, and little did I know that she landed me pretty much into a hotel in California. It was a meth house, and I was the only person in that hmm. house that never dabbled in that shit. I've never done it, never will. And I had this room to myself while there was people out shooting up into their veins. And I was just like, I can't fucking operate. And I had a good job at the time, and it offered me to paint. And this is where I got the body from. A guy said, you paint? All right, well, here I got a, body, a guitar body in the back of my car. So I took it home one night, and this is what came up. I did this the same night that I did the Misfit Crimson Ghost on an old Harmony hmm. guitar body. And that sold so quick. Because of pop culture, it, it happens. You know, you put something iconic on it, people eat that shit up like quick. Oh, fuck yeah. So, and then uh, since everybody was doing drugs and stuff like that, I just would keep myself in my room, throw in a couple horror movies, and then just go to town. And then when I saw the ending credits on the movie, I'd be like, yeah, I'm, I'm cool with that. Oh, yeah, I wonder and, uh, if I know somebody who's done drugs and enjoys this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, fucking, how much does one of these usually run for? Is it uh, usually, it, usually what I do is just the body itself, I do about $125. Um, that comes with the process of, let's say, if you had a concept that this was your idea, I'll draw out a couple ideas. I would not charge you for that whatsoever. And until we get it right, and you're like, yes, I like that. And then what I'll do is I'll draw a tracing out. And it's the thing with me and my clients is they always constantly get progress shots. It isn't one of those things where it's like, okay, I'll see you in three weeks. No, they get updates on it every fucking yeah. day. So if maybe something like they didn't communicate it right, you took it wrong, or whatever, you can be this worked on. This is the key, the key to being a good salesman is having good communication. Now, 
had I lacked the communication part because I didn't work in retail before I started doing artwork, well, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. Right. But because I knew how to sell and how to market and advertise things strictly by word of mouth, this is how I went about doing things, and this is where it got me. So I can tell you just got that business mentality and it just snaps through every little minute. It, it, it's time. kind of for the last nine years, it's been just constant go, go, go. And there is no time of like, how the fuck am I going to do this? No, it's like, dude, you know you can do it. Pump it out. So that's what I do. It's just really crap out masterpieces, literally. But uh, how much would it be for something like just this piece right here? Uh, this is 125. I just took the sticker off for presentation purposes, but about 125 doing full body guitars, including painting the fretboard, glossing it, the taping, the masking, the labor. I go about 450, 500. It doesn't matter how. One of kind of because of training. all the work that goes into putting I, all I, that okay, okay, in. Well, the, the thing is that it, it's it's one thing to just put like a vinyl wrap on it. Yeah. I don't know anybody else who does guitar bodies hand painted, and I put eight coats of lacquer on it, and Jesus. I mean people beat it to death. Like uh, I have a good friend that's got a zombie unicorn that pukes the rainbow across the fretboard, <laughs> and it's got so many layers of lacquer, and he abused the fuck out of it. And still has the same machine as when the day I gave it to him. So yeah. it's pretty sweet. And I love doing three dimensional stuff more than two dimensional stuff because it gives me the challenge and obstacle to be like, okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and do this and stuff like that. So yeah. it's a lot of fun for sure. Huh. Well, um, was there a specific like imagery or message or anything you're trying to get out with this? I tend, to, I, I, tend to, I, tend, I tend to dwell more towards like uh, the the darker element of artwork and stuff like that where there's zombies and decomposing flesh and things are attached to other things that aren't supposed to be attached to it. Eyeballs and teeth in weird fucking places, guts here and trails there. And I, I just go to town with it and just kind of see where it comes about. I, I don't have any more of an idea about it than you do when I start. I, I really improvise everything. I'm like, okay, well, I'll do this, I'll do that, and then when it's done, this is what it's done. I have no idea on the colors. I have no idea how I'm going to shade it. I just go with it, man. Right. So. All right. Well, I believe that is all the time that we have left. Sure, man. So thank you very much for coming in here. I guess I'll shake your yeah, left man. hand so it might be easier with the guitar sure, there. And back to you, Smiles. Thank you, Gage. So, anywho, man, we were pretty close to that time and everything. Um, so, what all? So, what do you see yourself in the future? What do you want uh, you as your character, as your person? Uh, you I, I'm a pretty selfless person. Anything that I want to dream of, I want every single artist that's in there to be able to do the same thing that I do. I don't want to be the only one who makes it. I want them to be able to make it at their own fame and fortune, willpower. All I can do is provide the inspiration. Hit the ground running and see what happens. Later. Well, once again, man, I really appreciate it. As yeah. I uh, told Cassie just a few minutes ago, I'm here to help. Exactly. You know, I want to showcase people, give them a, a medium. I want to give them a medium to go to. You know, so it's kind of like an archive. Hey, want to hear about this artist? Go right here. That's what right. I want to happen. Hey, you want to buy the artwork? Go right here. Right. That's what I want to do. And I really like the fact that there's some people connecting, clicking together, working together. Oh, fuck. And I've noticed since I started uh, that there's a lot of people joining forces. As yes. I said many, 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 many times years ago, unity. Yes. That's the trick to surviving in this because it's a cutthroat business, believe it or not. Yes, and it's it actually kind of annoying at how cutthroat it is. You have brothers and sisters fighting each other for this crap. And I'm like, why not work together? Oh, I believe it. I'm like, it ain't that hard, people. You both make money. Yeah, you, you have the elitists that want to sit there and you know they only care about themselves. But the funny thing about that, that only gets you so far. Uh -huh. The more selfish you are in this cutthroat business, the farther you gain. Because it's not that you progress, you expand. Oh, yeah. You expand. It, it, it's not just, okay, I'm going to go from point A to point B. No, you take point A and you swallow all the other letters. Yeah, it's, a it's crazy. Yeah, it's a freaking tree. It's a seed. You just plant it and it grows. That's how exactly. It, it takes a little while, but that's the good thing of exactly. it. Exactly. By the time it's done, it's a beautiful, powerful tree. Exactly. Kind of like that analogy. I'm going to use that for later. <laughs> but uh, that being said, man, uh, do you have anything to say to any upcoming artists or any upcoming bands or anyone in general? Just, if they want to get into this business, what would you have to say? If you haven't been to the underground rock shop, you need to come here because there's nothing in the Des Moines area quite like what we have going on right here. 
If you cease to not see any inspiration, then that tells me I'm not doing my job. Come down here, check out what we have. It's amazing. For anybody who's starving and striving to be an artist, I will help you for free. I don't want your money, I just want your time. That's all I ever want. To be able to pass on to the next generation what it is that I know and keep an ancient art continuous and flowing like water. So for sure. Beautiful words from a beautiful person and badass painter in my opinion. It's my opinion. <laughs> Fuck you. So that being said, man, thank you so much for being here. Alright, we're gonna have to cut off time now, unfortunately. I'd love to talk forever, but you know how this goes. Time oh, it's all good, man. Yep. Alright, so that was Matt Grease from where are you from? I'm from here in Des Moines, Iowa. Even better. So that's Matt Grease from Des Moines, Iowa. Thank you so much for tuning in. We're here at the Underground Rock Shop at a show called Lupercalis Paraphilias. Lupercalis Paraphilias. If you want to hear more from this gentleman right here, feel free to check the description below. And I love everyone, and I hope to see you guys next time. And thank you so much for tuning in. And just remember, smile, I'm watching. Later. Cut.